Hello guys, um, welcome along to Trinity College. It's a big tourist attraction, Trinity College, but there's two little hidden places a lot of people don't know about. If you are near the front door, where you walk in off uh, College Green, over that way, there's St. Patrick's Well, and just over that way, is the smallest graveyard in Dublin, um, Clonard's Graveyard. So, uh, Luke Clonard, he, he was one of the driving forces for securing the land for Trinity College. He's actually buried here. It's a small graveyard. Uh, so let's see if we can show you both. So, if you head over into this corner here, as I said, Luke Clonard, he was uh, the driving force in securing the funds to get the lands for Trinity College. And if you come down this corner here, near where the field court is, before this building here was built, there used to be a uh, church and his grave was just here, and this is what remains. Making it the smallest graveyard in Dublin. A lot of people don't even know it's here. Right, a lot harder to try and find is St. Patrick's Well. It's where St. Patrick's Day parades used to go, and uh, but, well, a lot of people from Dublin used to celebrate, but it's really hidden and hard to get. So, let's see if I can show you that with any luck. This is uh, Dublin's Nassau Street, famous for tourists, where all the tourists are brought. And this used to be St. Patrick's Well, Lane Street. And the well itself is just down here. There's a gate that blocks the tunnel that leads to the well. And the well makes its way underneath the Nassau Street. St. Patrick's Well used to be in the 1800s a big part of St. Patrick's Day in Dublin. It was rumoured to be the first well that St. Patrick had ever converted people. So a lot of the parades in Dublin used to start at the actual well, but it's been blocked off now for the last hundred years or so and fallen into disrepair. But a lot of the parades used to start there. That's an amazing history. But it's unlikely we'll be able to get near it, but we'll give it a go. Well, it's literally on the other side of that gate and the surround, but unfortunately it's blocked off and we can't get into it. But it's literally just around here. There's a mess covering the gate, perhaps to stop debris or rubbish from ending it in. And it's very dark inside. But you can get the general light here from looking at this. So there you have it, one of Trinity College's hidden gems, St. Patrick's Well. It's one of over a hundred holy wells in Dublin and Four rumours to be used by St. Patrick, but this is the one that they say St. Patrick first uh, baptised people. So, this is where St. Patrick's Day Parade used to end and finish, sorry, start and finish years ago. It was a huge holy religious focal point, it was about 200 years ago. I think Swift wrote a poem about all the students of Trinity College when they were all drinking and all, they drank the, the well dry. You can see here there's water back in the pub. Uh, there was some works carried out when they were doing the lewis, which you can hear overhead. 
and there was a fear that it could eventually collapse. So it's kind of a big forgotten place in Dublin now. But um, yeah, there you have it. St. Patrick's well. It's not a shame you can't go inside, but it's as close as I can get you. But uh, that, along with the graveyard, are some amazing little hidden gems. I'm sure there's some others we might find as well. Another little lone place is Povet House. It was built in 1759 for Povet Francis Andrews and is also known as Regional House. What's interesting about this house is it's not really noticed. Once people walk past Trinity College around by Nassau Street, seldom people look or try to look through the railings over the gate. But it's a beautiful house, mainly used for venues now and um, can be booked. The back gardens are stunning where they used to be stables and it has a unique dress bun Grafton Street. Right guys, so hope you've enjoyed that little tour. Two little hidden spots and off lot of people don't know them here in Trinity College, so if you're ever paying a visit, don't just go to the Book of Cows in the Long Library. You might want to see if you can see St. Patrick's Well and Conard's Graveyard, the smallest one in Dublin. Anyway guys, thanks very much for watching.